Have you ever done the nasty while listening to your own music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Troop and Drink, Celebrity Edition. My name is Omar. We got the beautiful Jordan Sparks here, Grammy nominated, Dancing with thank the Stars. You. Ooh, hello, thank yeah. you. <laughs> So I like to just take a shot at the start, just to set the tone. Just already at the beginning? Right, yeah. Ooh, just, Lord, okay, let's go so be that's a fun okay game, with you. guys. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Do oh, Jesus, help me. Ugh. Woo! I can do this. What do you hate about being famous? That's a great question. Expectations of who you actually are, as opposed to what people just see. So yeah. what's the biggest difference between Jordan Sparks and Jordan? Jordan does not have all this hair in, does not have this makeup on. <laughs> yeah. So then which version your husband likes more? Because you guys met on set or something like that, right? We actually met through our moms mm. on a group text message. And I would actually ask him that question since he's sitting there. Do you like the Jordan Sparks or the Jordan? I mean, I fell in love with Jordan, but then as you meet Jordan Sparks, you fall in love with that as well. So it's like, they're, both, they're both up there. They can both sing, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> sing, yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question now. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually do want to know this. What's the worst part mm -hmm. about working with celebrities? In my experience, almost like the influencers feel like they're like celebrities and just like the celebrities are more like chill ones. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people who are just doing it to have the recognition and the exposure, yeah. whereas I'm like, I'm okay if nobody takes another picture of me a day in my life. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you was in it for the right reason. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Have you ever done the nasty while listening to your own music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to take a shot, damn it! <laughs> yes, okay. Wait, which song gave it away. Silhouette. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So as you're listening to it, right, do you just like look back and like, damn, I could have hit that note better or like, I, um, I shouldn't yeah. be thinking about those things, Omar, yeah. while we're doing it. But you're hearing you know? yourself at the same time though. It's like, true, I do yeah. critique myself, I can't help it. Go ahead, ask me the questions. What was your rock bottom? Rock bottom? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> Please just fill me up right there. I don't want to go into it. It's just too much. That's no, cool. It's We're going to take much. the shot. We're yeah, going to take the shot. Yeah, it's too much. You'll be good. Woo! Oh, my turn. Hold on. Here we go. I don't drink this early. This is, this is a lot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Read me the last dirty DM you sent a woman or take a shot. Wow. <laughs> Looks like a shot of clock. <laughs> Shot I knew it as soon as I read it. I was like, dang, he gonna take that shot. Go ahead. How do you take advantage of your fame? How do I take advantage of my fame? Yeah. Definitely free stuff. Oh, I, <laughs> 100%. I'll do the same thing. Well, like, we about to go on vacation right. for free <laughs> in a couple months. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I think that's the one thing I take advantage of, but I'm not like doing it all the time. You mm. know what I mean? I have way too much stuff in my house already. Right. I do not need any more things to be filling up my house. Wow, I feel really good right now, actually. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me, he knows, he knows. Okay. What's one critique you have of my music? Sorry, but I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> oh, no, tell me, really. I'm gonna take a shot. No, please, I wanna know, because I wanna grow. You can take a shot and tell me. Okay. Okay. The other day, I saw when you came out with Chris Brown and performed No Air. Oh, and man, that was fun. Tell me how I'm to bring with no Did you know that was the first time we've performed it since 2008? Mm -hmm. Man, that's my issue. Mine too! Yeah. Shit, mm -hmm. mine too! <laughs> <laughs> you want to see more of that, especially like such big singles. It wasn't because I didn't want to. Yeah. So everybody watching, just mm -hmm. so you know, it wasn't because I didn't want to. So yeah. I hope that we get to do more stuff together and mm -hmm. this time, There'll definitely right. be more performances do when right. we do. Right. Yes, exactly. Right. I know we spoke about Chris and the performances, but what happened yes. to you during the Grammys in 2008? Oh, come on. <sighs> I found out, like everybody else found out, I've actually never told this in public before. We were nominated yeah. for Best Pop R&B Collaboration that year. As soon as I stepped foot on that red carpet, I had both of the public, the label publicists coming up to me and going, you know nothing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
What do you mean? Because I really didn't know mm. anything. I didn't go to Clive's party. As the night progresses, it's like Google alerts yeah. at that time. And more and more people started getting the news about it. And I'm sitting, just looking at everyone like, I don't know. I was also was a kid. Happening. I'm right. 18 years old at this point. Yeah. Like, Then I get it to my phone. Yeah. And I'm just like, mm. oh my God. Like, We're sitting there, gets to our categories. All like, the camera's there. The people are there. Adam Levine's behind me because he's nominated as well with Rihanna in the category. And not that I was like, oh yeah, I'm better than all these people, but the song was huge. So right. I was like, we have a really good chance of actually winning this. Mm -hmm. They announced the winner and it ends up being uh, Alison Krauss and Robert Plant. Mm. And I was like. How? <laughs> you know, right. I just, I was like, wait, yeah. what? I was so blown and I just couldn't believe it. And I think a lot of stuff that happened after that yeah. was not me, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of the powers that be had a hand in like, mm. Mm, Yeah. That was a really tough time for me because I just didn't understand. Right. I didn't get it. And yeah. I also didn't know about the ins and outs of the industry and the puppetry right. and the hands that can go into a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. okay, go ahead, give Last it to one. me. Last one. <sighs> when will you be done with your career? When will I be done with my career? Yeah. I don't need a shot on that. Mm. I'll take one anyway though. <laughs> I'll take one with you. <laughs> please, please, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Music and, well actually singing specifically has been an integral part of my life since I was born. I will always sing, whether it's still a career at that point, like right. booking shows and red carpets and all that mm. stuff. Mm, yeah. I don't know, I actually can't give you a definitive answer because I, I really love what I do. Mm. I love people, I love touching people through my music. Yeah. So as long as I'm still here and people yeah. still care and people still wanna hear me sing, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. cheers to your music coming. Thank you. Yeah. Stop This Feeling is mm. actually out right now. You can get it on Spotify, on iTunes, all the platforms, title, all those things. Post a video to how you feel about how it makes yeah. you feel. I would love that. It's called Stop This Feeling. Yes, and cheers to doing amazing things. Yes, Cheers, absolutely. Omar. Had a great cheers, time. Cheers, Jordan.